This is a short demo of the Chatterbox devices that um, use the, the Chatter uh, communication system I'm working on. Um, so these are all built using things you can get off of Amazon uh, plus a 3D printer. Um, and I have already created a cluster that these things are kind of connected on. And the uh, cluster, his name, name is uh, my last name, Calhoun. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. And so all three of these devices are on that cluster. Um, when, when you start one up and or factory reset it, you can choose the name of the cluster. Um, so here you can see what, when you turn on the device, it shows you which cluster you're on, what the device's name is, which again, you also choose that when you start up the device the first time. So some of the things you can do, it, it has a touch screen and it also has this uh, rotary control at the top. These are all listening on 915 megahertz, but that is configurable. Um, so I will do a demonstration of a direct message here. I've got three, I don't know if these are showing up too well, maybe that helps the glare. Um, so first of all, I'll have this one, Matt, which also happens to be the root device. Uh, I'll have it send a broadcast message. Uh, so it's going to broadcast to the entire cluster. Okay, so there it goes. The other devices are receiving it and they should be able to decrypt it and, uh, and validate the signature that it was actually sent from me. So yeah, you can see they both got it. Um, the other thing I'll show, I'm gonna do a direct message. So I choose direct message. I choose who I want it to go to. It's gonna go to this one. And then I type a message there. I'll put in a number. Okay, so they're both seeing the traffic on the radio, but only one of them received the message and was able to decrypt it. This one's still showing the last uh, um, broadcast message. This one actually did get the message, was able to decrypt it. So, so that shows kind of how you can do either kind. The range on these I haven't fully tested yet. Um, in, a little bit of testing I did, I was able to get about a mile and a half, but I really didn't try any farther than that, so so uh, I'll have to do some more testing with that. This is definitely experimental, and um, I've got a lot more work to do. But just wanted to give a quick demonstration.